Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Lily and today we're going to be talking about all of my five star reads so far from this year. I think of myself as a pretty harsh reader as it comes to books, so this should be pretty interesting. But we have a pretty big stack here, at least I think, of all five stars. Each one of these books are so important to me for some reason like i love them all so much and like so much <laughs> yeah so we're gonna get right into it so the first book is scythe by neil shuderman if you have never heard of this book before i'm so happy that i get to introduce to you this book it's a dystopian fantasy and basically the description says is a world with no hunger no disease no war, no misery. Humanity has conquered those, all those things, even conquered death. So the only people that can kill are Scythes, which is basically the whole world. is just like everyone is so always worried about being killed by a Scythe because that's the only way you can die in this world. And we are following two main characters, Sidra and Rowan, which get picked to be a pretin, apprentice to a siphon and just this world is so good and then these characters make it so much better like just following these characters point of views and seeing them go through this training of becoming a scythe but the real i don't know there's just one plot twist at the end that I would have never guessed and I cannot wait to get to the second book in the series because it is I believe a trilogy but there might be only two books I have no idea <laughs> but I cannot wait to get to the second one it is on my August TBR so really hope I get to that one but I just love this book with all my heart and I think it did take me a little bit to read it but I feel it was so worth it because I was in this world for so long and I cannot express how much I love this book, honestly. So, first book is Scythe. Next book is The Maze Runner by James Dashner. This book, so basically, if you've never read this book before, Thomas wakes up, he doesn't remember anything but his name. And he's surrounded by strangers, only boys who can whose memories are also gone. And he gets trapped in this place called the Glade, where it's basically four walls, like, in a square, and they are trapped in this place. But on the outside of those walls is a maze, hence the maze runner. Thomas is different, though, and he is going to somehow do something that makes the whole book <laughs> get to the end. But... Then a girl arrives, and the first girl ever that has ever arrived in the Glade. So it's very shocking, and I I love how short the chapters are, how fast-paced it was. I did read the other three books in this, like, trilogy. There is two other books after them, but I just don't know when I might get to them. But I love this book so much. I If you haven't watched the movies, there are movies. There is The Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, and The Death Cure. I hated The Maze Runner movie, but I love The Scorch Trial and The Death Cure movies. Like, I think the mo the second two movies were better than the second two books. Just my opinion, but I just cannot express my love <laughs> for this book. It's one of my first dystopian and it has a special place in my heart, so... Next, we have The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I, I bet you have heard about this book, or at least something from this book, because it's very hyped on Book Talk and BookTube. Everyone and their mother has read this book, I feel like. Basically, our main character, Avery, she is sent to the Hawthorne house because she is in this Tobias Hawthorne's will. He is a multi-billionaire. He's literally the most richest man on earth, I think is what this book is like giving us but he is basically tobias left her in the will to inherit all of the money 
not and he has four grandsons they did not get as much as she did she got the whole inheritance the houses the real estate their vacation houses everything <laughs> but the only way she's going to get it all is if she stays in the hawthorne house for a full year this book is so many riddles so many just twists and turns there's so many plot twists in this book the shortest chapters ever I think I read this book in two days which is pretty fast for me so I don't know this just has a place in my heart that is just like so so good <laughs> if you haven't read this already please do this book is A Good Girl's Gonna Murder which is by Holly Jackson she I love her writing her plot twists everything about this book is so so good she's doing this project for school where she is following the kidnapping murder of andy bell which is a girl that supposedly had been murdered by her boyfriend sal but pip doesn't think that's what happened so she just goes through all these steps and all these things just figuring out everything and it just is so good the plot twist in this book threw me away i did not guess it it is a little hard to understand because there's a lot of characters i feel like but it is very very entertaining i think i read this book in like two days and i think it is pretty thick for at least a thriller i think but definitely one of my five star thrillers that i love just the series in general is so good and so mind-blowing that someone can even write this next we have the last time i lied by riley sager i love riley sager's writing i think it's so thrilling and just so riveting if that's the word i'm looking for this follows our main character emma she goes back like from the past she went to a summer camp with three older girls that she had a bunk with and one day those three older girls disappeared and no one knows what happened that night but i have a feeling that emma did and that's just some plot twists in this book you'll have to get to but present timeline emma has to go back to this camp because it's reopening and she wants she had to be a counselor she thinks she thinks that this can be a good experience to stop thinking about this camp, stop thinking about her hor horrible nightmares about these girls. So she goes back and she has to stay in the same like cabin as she went in the first time she's gone there and just things get unraveled and it's just so good. The plot twist at the end of this book as well, I did not guess at all. These characters I felt really relatable to for some reason and just this plot of this book was not the most original but it did have me guessing the whole time and I love the characters. Riley Seager just has something in his writing that makes me addicted. <laughs> the final book we have to talk about today is Stay Awake by Megan Golden. This book is my latest five star basically it follows our main character Liv Reese she wakes up in a cab not remembering anything not remembering what happened how she got there and she goes to her apartment to try to figure out what happened because she doesn't have her purse she doesn't have her keys she doesn't have her phone she has literally nothing with her and she also sees that she has written or someone else has written like words all over her hands and see like messages like stay awake or you can't fall asleep or something like that and this book just is so many plot twists I did not guess literally any of these plot twists the characters in this as well as so are so good so real they're like <laughs> the most real characters I've ever read about I read this book so fast it's just the most thrilling thriller I think I've ever read honestly but definitely one of my favorite thrillers I've ever read okay guys so these are all of my five star books that I've given five stars this year so far I 
cannot wait to read more books this year and hopefully get more five stars because i feel like this is a good amount but i feel like there's not many here but definitely recommend all of those books so much i hope you guys have a great rest of your day i hope you are enjoying your book you're currently reading bye